you uh, for attending the Lightspeed and Trade Ideas Co webinar. Uh, we know you're very busy and we're going to provide a lot of important information that we believe is going to be hopefully some of the most important information you're going to see in terms of capturing alpha. Lightspeed has been a partner with Trade Ideas for many years and we're excited to present and we think we have a mutually synergistic relationship that's going to be uh, highlighted throughout the presentation. Before we get started, I want everyone to understand that Trade Ideas is not a registered investment advisor. Everything that I'm going to be presenting is strictly for educational and informational purposes only, and nothing in our technology or from myself or any members of Trade Ideas should be considered as uh, a solicitation to buy or sell securities. Okay, Brad, with the disclaimer out of the way, let's rock and roll. So, one of the things that I like to do is kind of have a personal connection with people that I'm presenting to. So this is me in 1996. It's a real newspaper article. I was in Austin, Texas, and at the time I was involved in uh, what was really the first uh, direct access trading revolution. The reason I'm pointing this out is because it, it kind of plays into what you're going to see throughout the presentation. I, Brad. I have one of the privileges of being in the top 1% of the 1% for individuals who have bought and sold securities in the United States. No, dude, it's, it's quite impressive. And I got to tell you, I think that uh, I do, you had a little bit more hair back then. I do, uh, I do remember you that young. You've been doing this for a while. A handsome young guy, I must say. <laughs> so, but the point here is this. You are listening to someone who has built a career out of investing for themselves. I was never an institutional trader. I never worked for a market maker, although the largest market making company's uh, owner was one of my best friends. So again, very connected, but just so you understand who you're dealing with, I know what it feels like to win and lose in the stock market. So one of the big things that we've done in Trade Ideas and how we've changed ourselves to reposition ourselves as the dominant player in idea generation um, for individual investors, self-directed investors in the U.S. is by changing from a software company to really a media company. We provide information all throughout the day and we do it in a number of different ways. One of them is through a free trading room that is moderated by Barry Anderson, a team member of Trade Ideas and a very experienced trader like myself and like Brad. And Barry helps people all throughout the day filter Trade Ideas data. There's a meritocracy and a crowdsourcing in a community where the best information comes up. And what you're going to see here is that because we're a technology company, our trading room is free and it has some of the best investors in the country that invest just for themselves. So every day, always full and it's free for you. If anything, you can come out of this without spending any money, changing nothing, but having access to better information at a lower cost. There's also, Dan, hey, another component of that trading room. Go back one slide. Go back oh, to that. Uh, okay. Hold on, Brad. I, I, I exhaled. <laughs> well, I was going to talk about really the interactive nature of that trading room. So, yeah, there are great calls being made throughout the day, and Barry's certainly using our technology and showcasing uh, really how you can spot opportunities in real time, and he's actually trading his own account. So, you know, he's making these trades live, but the, the thing that wasn't mentioned is there's also a technical support tab in that live trading room, and, and if you have questions on the, the Trade Ideas technology, it's really interactive, and you can ask that there, and Either someone will go ahead and give you a chat response or Barry will take that live and he'll talk you through it and answer your question. So it's really important. Trade Ideas has been doing this for a number of years, so it's a real in-depth product. And we have a variety of resources that we provide that really do allow you to use it and take full advantage of it. That's all I was going to say. No, I mean, and, and thank you, because I completely glossed over it. Hopefully, I would have come back to it. The other thing, you know, as you were saying that, Brad, it made me realize from this slide, there's this resource that we have as a part of Trade Ideas, which is the human component, again, from Barry and 
you just have to go to the room once and see the difference between what we do and what the paid for rooms do. It's a completely different experience. Then, you know, I'm looking at Jamie's name and Steve's name. You have people here who kind of, Jamie Hodge and I, so you saw that picture of myself in the newspaper. But what's interesting is that, you know, when they came in and I got the, the profile, but Jamie Hodge was trading with me in that first trading room where I ever traded learn the same things, same buddy noses, and he is our director of education. So there's so much innate talent. Steve Gomez, Andy Linhoff, I mean, these guys ran the firm that we acquired to bring them on board. They were today trader. They were providing education on exactly this kind of stuff. So what you have is the best of the best, and the reason that we're here and why we've partnered with Lightspeed is that for individual investors, Brad, I mean, before I jump into the whole how-to of it, I mean, the key is, and this is a simple value proposition everyone understands, the key is to be able to make small mistakes until you catch the thing that works enough, okay? And to do that, where else can you do it than in a place that has some of the more competitive commission rates in the business? This is why we work with firms like this and why Lightspeed is such a nice value add for you. The whole thing here is with investing and trading, it's all about information and information processing. You should, and again, I'll, I'll talk more about this as, as we continue. Brad, don't let me get too, you know, preachy. I'll, so, I'll make sure I stop you. <laughs> so, um, what we find investors doing, and again, this is me talking about uh, my own experience. We are our own worst enemy, and I see this in the trading room. I see this on Twitter. I see it all the time today, and I've seen it through my whole career as an investor. You kind of get this <clears throat> situation where you're distracted by the common. So in this case, I'm using an example. People get this fascination and fixation of staring at the S&P. It's almost like you're whoopee. And it used to be back in the day when I was investing, it would be less that and so it would be, you know, you had to have CNBC in your office as if that did anything. You know, you have to have a TV that was... Screened. Or the futures, right? Or the futures, that's right. I mean, there's there's these whole things and there's these little whoobies that people just desperately cling on to. Technical analysis, unfortunately, falls into that. Now, we're not saying that you can't use it. You're allowed to do anything you want to do as an adult. We're just saying that scientifically, none of those things tend to work. Because to scientifically be able to work, you have to verify them. You'd have to take all the information on relative strength index, apply it to all the stocks, test it on all these different time frames, and see if it works. And we do that, and we found out the answer is no. So what Trade Ideas did, and this is one of the reasons that we're the fastest growing uh, fintech subscription service in the United States right now, is that we created an artificial intelligence that does all the heavy lifting for you and basically just streams ideas of what you should be doing based on the numbers. It's a lot to kind of process and a lot to take in. Self-directed investors, you know, have just started to learn to rely on themselves. But the thing is that the market has evolved. Back when I was learning to trade, and the newspaper article that you saw, it was taking advantage of a network arbitrage using a system called SOS. And all the people who are old enough to know what that means in, the, um, in this webinar know what I'm talking about. But basically, it was being at the right place at the right time and having access to something that really most people just didn't have access to. Think about that, because it's important what I'm about to say. Most people around did not have access to SOS, and because of that, SOS was advantageous for many, 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 many years. So things continue to evolve, and what we have done is we have realized that in order to succeed today in the discretionary trading type of business, you really have to do the kind of homework that is impossible to do by a human. It's just like you couldn't compete with a navigation system from Google by, you know, getting your atlas and your maps in the back seat and trying to figure it's impossible to do. You know, there's just the anatomy of the two tasks 
are so different that you can't compare one with the other. And it's the same thing with homework. You know, you see a lot of Twitter threads about study, study, study. Guys, go, go through your charts every night. I go through 30 charts, 40 charts, 148 charts. I go through zero charts. The reason I do that is because chart patterns to the human eyes are completely subjective. It's one of the many reasons why you see tons of funny stories about people looking at butter and seeing Jesus or in a bark or why we'll look at a cloud and the cloud looks like a dog or is it a horse with wings. These are all common things that our brain tells us because our brain pattern recognition is wired in a way that's not quite suitable for stocks and stock investing because again, for stock investing, you have to be more of a criminal profiler. Like on the show Criminal Minds, you have to know the way that serial killers, or in this case, alpha generating stocks, how do they behave. So this is, Brad, our performance. Thank you for actually adding this slide. And this is when we launched the AI, and the market was really, you know, when the market started to go down, RAI was catching the, the downside by shorting, but then when the market rebounded, we were going in the same direction with the market. But all through this time, Brad, what was happening underneath? The AI was learning and learning and learning and learning. This is what's called machine learning. Our software is born and it starts to study. Now, Brad, look what's starting to happen around uh, the July time frame. We're starting to really take a serious lead from the S&P. And that's because, again, the AI allows you the freedom to do things that you otherwise just couldn't possibly do. This is kind of what our AI looks like. Created an animated GIF, but this is exactly what happened yesterday. This was the call as it was made. You can, by the way, tell nothing is ever perfect. I mean, this was the price that it was made at. And again, this is on repeat. But we sequence this for you. Look at the percentages. We have specifically. This isn't uh, just me randomly cherry picking an incredible move. Because again, some of you in this uh, webinar probably already use our product and know. But what I'm talking about is we have designed robotics and machine learning to look and spot these behaviors. And there's so many things in these behaviors that are beyond simply just the price spikes and the volume. And this is what our software hunts. And it does this automatically. It automatically learns mathematically which direction is working. And right now it's still bullish. And it automatically gets you into the right trades when it's feasible. This is the advantage that you now have that it's really up to you to decide what are you going to do with it. And so, so Dan, you were, you were showing the results, I think, what, going back to the beginning of the year. And, and that's when we did release the AI. But it's important to note that we've been... We've been doing this for quite some time, just like you know when you were showing your article. This is about 14 years in the works, and in that time, every year there's been advancements and enhancements to the product to this ultimate pinnacle that we have here, where it's it's running through the back testing, it's automatically crunching numbers on numerous strategies every single day after the market, modifying that, and then presenting you, the user, with this stream of information that's Really, it's, it's perfectly suited for the day's market. And just like this particular strategy triggered you know, a long strategy, it's got other things it's looking at. It's looking at the market conditions. It's looking at how did something, how did a move like this perform over the last quarter, you know, the last three months of trading? What and, kind of other moves like this happened? And comparing and contrasting the two. So there's, again, it's all about your focus, and that's the reason why my first slide was talked about, you know, hey, we, we kind of joke about how we want to show you AI, and you're talking to me about the spy. It's, it's funny and not funny, and it's critical to your success, okay? So there was a, Brad, there was a quick question uh, about level two, and uh, guys, uh, Lightspeed has level two for you. 
It's within the Lightspeed platform. So um, again, if you, uh, Brad, let's discuss a little bit about this performance chart. How did we all of a sudden start to go? Well, as we started here, the AI really didn't have a full understanding of um, the rules and how to manage the profits. And that's okay because we wanted it to learn the best way to do it through experience. So over this time frame, the AI was building kind of like a rules engine for itself to say, well, what are the rules that I should use to maximize my own information? And right around here is where it perfected what it was really, this was the Brexit, by the way, just so that everyone knows. I just, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I remember it clearly. Yeah, and I remember, it yeah. And it was right around the Brexit that basically the AI came up with a new set of rules and uh, those rules have been implemented and this is how it's been performing ever since. And the rules are a combination of when to take profits early, when to uh, let the volatility uh, take hold and let the profits run. So that's how all of that works. And again, we as trade ideas, I mean, obviously we want your business, but just so you know, back to what Brad and I had said about the, um, our trading room where we have this vibrant community. It's not only that, but in terms of the media play, there's four webinars that are happening every single week. There's a constant flow of information. In fact, usually this webinar where we're kind of, again, giving you the real full introduction or reintroduction to the AI since we launched. Um, usually this is the Q&A webinar where Brad and I would go over various things um, into uh, regarding the software. So to that end, Brad, what I want to do right now is maybe jump into the software, show everybody what we're looking at real quick. Um, Brad, you're my clock. I want to make sure we have enough time to present, you know, the offers and the open house. Again, there's so much opportunity. Yeah, you're good. We're only 20 minutes in, so you're, you're good. No, no worries right now. You said we only have five minutes left? Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, what I'm going to do now, so again, we're so this was the BSPM trade from yesterday. I'm going to show you what kind of what it looked like for real by minimizing the presentation and going to showing you what happened today. Okay. So today, again, everyone saw what was happening. This is pre-market, so our charts, everything you see here is internal inside trade ideas. Okay. And so everything you see, charting, alerting, and the whole idea is then light speed is the perfect complement to that for the execution, okay? So that's why you're here. You're able to see the best things and using the light speed commission structure to execute upon them and capture the most advantage. All of this is linked to light speed, so if you want to use their fine charts, you can use our tools, and our external linking and just connect the two together and it's very simple. Again, I won't yeah, go that'll, that'll also get you linked up with their order entry panel too so that you're really just one click away from being able to uh, to send that order to the market. Right. Order entry, level two, everything can be done that way. So let me uh, kind of show you again. This is our channel bar and Trade Ideas is more of a Netflix for stocks versus like some stock screener or stock scanner. Okay, so we have a channel, Barb, and I am on our Holly AI channel. Okay, um, this channel is the most popular channel. This channel is fuels our subscription growth, and the reason is look at what it did today. Okay, um, it made 72 cents, and these are all the trades that happened. We're gonna kind of gonna go into we're gonna go over them. And I will demonstrate to you what are the different tools and technology pieces that work to make it all come together. So this is your overall strategy um, window for the AI. This is kind of like your AI interface where that tells you what's going on. Without any filter, what I want to show you is these were all the things that Holly had ready to trade 
based on yesterday's data for today. So we had one strategy called Sunrise Mover, two trades, both of them were positive, and together they made 97 cents risk on, which is the mode that you should have been in today, and 23 cents risk off. Then on support, which is a strategy, and again, we'll go over the trades, you'll see why they were placed and how they were done it. You'll, you'll see it and it'll hopefully make certain uh, sense why it was called on support. Same thing with bullish pullback, volume uh, doesn't lie, alpha predator edge, first to the party, hopefully that makes perfect sense. And the same thing with the uh, short strategy. So these, these combined together create Holly. She is your virtual analyst. Now when I filter this by active, that means that I'm only looking at things that have actually traded today. So these were the three long strategies that triggered today and the two short strategies that triggered today. The two short strategies did not uh, produce winners, but the losers were very small in both modes. One, the bullish pullback did not work that well, although again, I, I believe there was quite a few opportunities and we'll discuss that in a minute also. But on support and sunrise did very well creating the 72 cent profit had you perfectly played it exactly like Holly. So that's, um, that's the idea, okay? So the AI, remember, works this way. It is your virtual analyst. It is telling you what to do, but its methodology is very similar to a card counter in Vegas, okay? A card counter in Vegas um, keeps a count and simply understands when the odds are in their favor. It is much the same way here, but instead of a count, Holly's watching all the stocks, and she then tells you when odds for a certain thing are in your favor. So this morning, if you sort by everything is sortable, so if you sort by entry time, you can kind of see like what the day would have been like today. And by the way, again, we never say, and it's impossible for any AI, no matter how good it is, to only win. There are no systems that only win. We just happen to have the best system on the planet in terms of discretionary investing because we use science versus fantasy. But again, even that way, just like a professional poker player or a professional blackjack player, you will also have losses. It's how you manage them. And that's the other thing that the AI does. She teaches you how to properly manage risk by watching her actions. It makes you better and better and better. So starting the day, the first trade was KMX. And it looked like this. So Sunrise Mover. Brad, remind me, because again, I believe of, of all the people that name strategies, I I sense a Brad on Sunrise Mover. Can you maybe remind me a little bit of what you had in mind when you were talking to Holly about what you wanted to see and how she took your info and made the magic? You bet. So, so Sunrise Mover. So first of all, you want me to talk a little bit about the bases and what we do at that or just specifically yeah. Sunrise? Well, I'm saying just you can talk. I'd love to. Buddy, come okay. on. You're good. Okay. Talk so me. Let me, let me this do this. Let me start with um, let me start with more of the concept of what Holly does with base strategies, and then I'll talk specifically about Sunrise Mover. So absolutely. So Holly is an engine, if you will, and, and and essentially we feed Holly some information. We feed her what we call a base strategy, and a base strategy is a an unrefined strategy, if you will. It's a concept. Um, something like if you were to generalize it, it would be stocks making new highs on two times normal volume that are 3% um, above their 200-day moving average. So I've, I've given it a base concept, let's say. And then once we do that, Holly then takes that information and then looks at every single filter that Trade Ideas has available and runs through an immense amount of statistical algorithms to do hypothetical trades. And essentially what she does is she modifies every one of our 45 base strategies every single day to come up with a fully optimized strategy the next trading day and it uses a variety of in sample data and out of sample data to avoid curve fitting so it does all this amazing statistical stuff every day but what Dan asked was you know what did we feed Holly with respect to Sunrise Movers for her to add her secret special sauce if you will so Sunrise Movers is a momentum type of strategy it's looking for a stock that's making 
uh, an aggressive move up early in the day uh, with some volume behind it. So you're going to find that this is a type of stock that's generally in play for a good portion of the day, even if uh, it's uh, it's exited inside of the strategy. And every strategy uh, has an exit. So you're going to be exiting every position every day, either by time, by a profit target, or by a stop loss. And so those are right. the, you're going to definitely be exiting. Yes? You know, when you were saying that, it made me, like, as I'm watching, you know, my own screen, it made me realize that if I was a, some, if I was observing the webinar, I'd ask this question, and this is what I wanted to make sure that maybe, again, because you and I are so deep into it, we can kind of gloss over it. But when Brad's saying there's momentum, right, it's very easy to see kind of like this situation right here where there's this big spike and we find it. But I just want to assure you that this happens all the friggin' time. So that's not the only thing that the AI does from this point of view. Look at this chart, right? Do you see like this picture, how it came up? All, I mean, taking the picture all the way from here or even from here, it's making these sine waves. So Holly felt that this stock was in the longer term in a position to where a move like this could signal something that was meaningful. That's how deep it gets. And this whole thing is in play in here. It's not just this, Brad. And that's the thing that kind of stood out as you were talking about the Sunrise Mover and how there's early momentum. Yes, there's absolutely early momentum, but I just want to make sure you know that the AI is not just simply looking for some momentum spike because if that was the case, you'd be in 40, 50 things. Well, and, and you're right. And if I was to pull up that strategy and you were to see the components, like if we were to just open up the configuration, you'd see a, a, a combination of intraday types of filters in addition to longer term filters that really paint the picture as to what may be happening with that stock. So, yeah, there's a lot of uh, combination of, uh, intraday and longer term analysis that goes into every strategy and and honestly we don't know at the end of or w when Holly optimizes the strategy what filter she could put on she could have said I want to make sure that for this momentum play to take place it's going to be in the lower end of its five day range you know I right. want to see a turnaround and it looks uses statistics to determine all of this well this is what makes having an AI so awesome I mean you guys I mean do you imagine what's happening here I mean, we we have like literally a computer that's thinking about this for us and coming up with this kind of stuff, and that's what's causing the kind of performance that you're seeing in the chart that we showed you before. Hey, and man, there was a there was a question that is kind of uh, related to this. So let me let me grab it right now. It was a uh, he he was asking or she was asking with respect to first to the party why it's there sometimes and why it's not there other times Great and that's all part of I think I completely glossed over it but um, at the end of every day when Holly has gone through all 45 of these strategies and massaged them and 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 really felt like they're ready to go they then compete with each other to where only the best of the best actually make it uh, to the next trading day and it uses a combination of making sure a profit factor win percentage uh, all of these are, are meeting a certain threshold and, and if they meet that threshold then they'll appear the next day, but because they get optimized every day and the market's dynamic, it's possible that first to the party, while it's still a great strategy, just didn't quite hit the metrics, um, but, but it did today. In fact, it hit the metrics, it just did not trade. So it, we have no idea what it's going to do. Did I lose you, buddy? Well, I was talking to myself for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, what I was just saying is that when we utilize the space during um, for our normal layouts, we have it optimized for, for space constraints and usability. Okay? But there's additional data, and we have it, and we show it on webinars. So these right here, what Brad was saying, the historical statistical testing that let us put, that made these strategies come up here, they had to have a certain thing about them to allow them to appear. Like, it had to be a certain combination of profit factor and win percentage together. So you can kind of see what's going on and why something is there. And the reason that the other ones didn't make it is they just were lower. They, this was the cutoff. 
and the software picks the cutoff itself. So that's the reason. Again, completely internally machine learning doing it all by itself. So, so these algorithms are competing and, to, and the day started this way. So now, Brad, you know, the, the other thing that I wanted to kind of point out was, so there's really kind of two components to trade ideas that together combine to create what we say is the method or the Holly Trinity, okay? The Holly Trinity works like this. KMX comes up as a long. We have been now told that the AI is looking at this as a potential long play. Okay. Um, we may or may not have traded it, but now that you know the AI is long, Trade Ideas has another high-end feature that allows you to really take advantage of this, combining the AI with your human pattern recognition. So typical psychological behavior then would suggest to you that if you kind of got this stock above this price, because you can kind of see it, you know, where it's what it's doing, you know, like right around here. AI likes it. So now I've created myself a personal alert for uh, this stock just simply being alerted to I would have never really paid attention to CarMax. I wouldn't have known that it was declining in such a way that maybe actually from the AI's point of view it's now oversold properly, so to speak. And maybe I missed the move, but because I am a human and I can apply some discretionary judgment, I can definitely see if it started to move up and wherever, whenever it got above this price, it just looks like kind of like a, tra a trend shift to me, visually. This is why, by the way, you notice that most trade ideas users actually start using fewer and fewer technical indicators and fewer and fewer hooks to their success other than the actual data from the AI. Because again, what you see is these pitchforks and fib numbers and all this other stuff, it's just more things for you to look at and, and ultimately it's a little bit distracting because at the end of the day your attention is your most critical resource. I mean, of course, you've got you've got the capital you got to preserve and put to work, but you use it through the fuel of your mental attention. What are you going to pay attention to? You have to have some good reason not be the spy one minute. So, next trade, HCA, boom, comes in here. I mean, in, the, in these particular cases, notice how easily you can see exactly what's going on. So, Holly's noticing that this is a possible. Uh, trend change, and maybe again, right? It's, it's right at it. But again, if this thing breaks out, you could kind of—I don't even need to draw a trend line. You can connect these dots, and you can see it's kind of trying to break out. Holly was smelling that early, got got you in here, and this is one of the nicer run moves. Again, all by design. You can see what it's trying to do. You can see what it's anticipating, and then again, if you missed it, right? You can go right here and say, once again, AI liked it, looks. Kind of the, um, the, the, the real-time way to play it, right? So, so imagine, imagine that signal just appeared where that blue arrow is on your left chart, right? And you mm -hmm. didn't get in, and you, you, you end up watching it. And this is what you end up doing, is you end up putting this price alert right at, what, 76.50, right? Where it consolidated, and then it, until 9 o'clock, it finally broke out. But you're not really looking at it. You're not caring to bring it back into your attention. But at that point, you're then alerted to it, and you can go ahead and make that trade. That's kind of the way you would use it in real time. But then you can also do it like Dan's doing it at the end of the day and set up some longer-term type of signals on that daily chart. And they really do kind of work hand-in-hand hand with each other. Well, Brad, you know, we often get this mistaken notion that trade ideas for day traders, and I think not only will the people at Lightspeed, but we ourselves, we don't like that word, and it's not because literally day trading is a bad word. I mean, give me a break. I don't care about words per se, but I really don't like the imagery that it puts into the minds of clients, and in general, there's a lack of understanding of what that terminology means. It's more descriptive than method, method, method methodical? Yeah, it's more descriptive. Like, for example, 
I can get into something and I can get out of something and I've traded it that day. But I also get into something and if it starts to go, why do I need to get out of it that day? I mean, that is silly. But if, but people and the way they tend to work and identify themselves, they'll say, oh, well, all of a sudden you're in a stock, you're up 20%, you get out, you get bought out the next day and you missed, you know, 200%. These are all things that are possible. I mean, look at um, stocks like this. You know, they are, look at the percentage moves that are possible in the, and the opportunities that exist in today's market. You know, we don't preach ever that one thing, you know, that one stock is better than another per se, but we trade math. We trade the odds behind the moves, okay? And that's the key. That's how professionals succeed at any kind of speculations. You play the odds. Lightspeed, perfect synergy because here you can try you can make an error in the stock you can get out but you can get back in if you see it starting to go that's the beauty of having the freedom of not having to pay expensive commissions and that's one of the big advantages that you have right now as an individual as an individual investor i mean I, i've said this uh many times in my opinion this is the best market for the individual investment ever because our technology has not existed since until January 1. So you guys, in essence, by being here, by listening to what I'm saying, you are like me, but with SOS in 1990. You know, by 1996, everybody who wanted SOS had it. And, you know, they started to mess around and the, the things changed. So with our AI, you are lucky enough to be very, very early adopters. It's probably going to take a few years for this to get super, uh, uh, you know, saturated. But believe me, when you see the way this performs, you will see why it catches on the way it does. I mean, there's just nothing that comes close. It's everything that I would have wanted as a trader, and I and learning to trade. It's what again, Steve, myself, Brad all the hours that go into our bloody noses, they've been kind of refined and put in not only the technology, but also the media and the education that you get by working with us. Hey Dan, maybe, um, maybe you can show the folks a little bit about the channel bar because it really does provide a nice alternative to the AI in, in using our tech as well. It's kind of what the foundation of what the AI was all built upon. Um, 100%. Let me uh, pin a couple of windows just to make sure I don't lose them if I need to come back. Okay, perfect. So, as Brad said, we don't want you to be tinkering. You're not a mechanic. We don't want you to be a mechanic. Being a mechanic is not that sexy in the stock market. Those days are over when you're sitting there configuring stuff and then figuring it out. I mean, you can always play around. But look at how quickly we can get you where you need to go. Our channel bar has a pre-market channel that has everything you need to know for pre-market, things that are gapping up, things that are gapping down, and how they're moving in pre-market real time, including the ability to look at anything, see what it is, um, see various details, and again, get to the decision point discretionarily as fast as possible. This is where I start my day. And most people that use trade ideas start with either this channel or some modification that they made of it. The next one that I like to go to, whoops, is not this one, but actually the social media channel. And you, again, you can channel surf very quickly from one to the other. So social media, this is a really nice highlight and from anybody who's familiar with our tech and knows what we do, one of the things that separates us from the rest of the boys and girls is that we don't only look at stock market data, we integrate stock market data with unstructured data. Stock, which is a partner of ours, we take their stream internally, data mine it, and tell you as people are talking about something in, in real time and when it's being mentioned unusually. So here, most discussed and trending up today. So which stocks are just talked about the most and how the, they're up and what is their percentages? And you can sort and resort by things. So here, I, um, this one, Intellipharmaceuticals, in, in okay, was being talked about in the most unusual amount. And its normal average is 40 mentions a day. So you can kind of see exactly what's going on, where it is on the 20, and look at what's been going on. So we get you here 
quickly. Look at this one. One of my favorite types of patterns is this one. At the very least, if you do absolutely nothing with trade ideas, write down this name. Okay, these are the kind of things that are very attractive um, right now in terms of momentum. Even though this one has 117 uh, million float, it's a little bit on the big side, but again, we, we kind of take a physics approach to alpha, right? To find the best alpha stocks is just not simply learning how to trade Amazon, Netflix, and Google, and Apple. That's just so silly. It's understanding the profile, the behavioral profile of what alpha looks like, dissecting it, and then replicating it. That's why we know today Float, short interest. I'm sure you've seen, heard these things on Twitter. Social activity and the formation of the move, angles, all matter. That's what we do internally for you. Then you can quickly just go through and find the information uh, as either you see fit, or by the way, as Brad and I both know, it's very soon what's coming is the AI will surf the channels for you if you want it. Brad, I can't believe I said that. You didn't. Oh my God. Jesus, who's controlling me? I shouldn't say stuff like that, but it's coming. So fully, it's like basically we're going the way, you know, the Tesla self-driving car. All you will have to do is really say yes or no soon. So again, so surge channels, looking for those huge volume surges that take place in stocks, okay, for whatever reason. If you want to see something that starts to move like this, you will see it on the surge because it can't escape. And it's also the relative element of it. You know, we've not, we, we track the relative volume, like this super unusual behavior. <coughs> not simply just volume, but the relativity. And you will see the things that you need to see. That's the key. With trade ideas, you will see the things you need to see. So Dan, when I was saying, you know, the found that's great. When I was saying the foundation is it's the very points like the relative volume and the today's range percentage and these data points that are really special to trade ideas that the AI uses in its analysis every day when looking at every strategy, you know, saying, should I make that relative volume a certain value? Does the strategy odds change? Will I make more money? And it does all that analysis millions of times every day. We, the AI right now, while we're doing this presentation, our AI is actually studying everything that happens today. We have a general thesis to do approximately a million practice trades a day to teach, and as technology gets better, that will get better if it needs to be. But again, we're just moving more towards Holly becoming, well, hopefully a better version than Siri, because Siri's kind of silly, but in the same realm. You know, you just say, okay, looks good. Let me see it. Okay, go. Okay, next, let's see, options. Let's not forget that Trade Ideas also looks at options data. So our whole point about what we do is to give you the easiest way to find the most unusual behavior. Notice every window has a title, which you can clearly see, unusual options volume. So here, um, here's a stock for whatever reason, okay, that is trading... <coughs> Well, only 202 contracts, but this is very unusual for what it's doing. And look at the put-call ratio, mostly bullish. So you have to kind of uh, be able to basically make some inferences. They're like, wow, maybe here's where somebody knows something and they're taking advantage of it in the options market. That's how I would do it if I knew something. So you can quickly then see what's the longer-term picture and say, wow, you know, um, let me set an alert. And this is, again, this is exactly how we do it. It's simple. There's no tons of indicators. I, I basically say just something to give me a mnemonic. Um, crossing the whole number. The great part is that could be a week later. That, that, that Oh, like. absolutely. I forget about it. That's the Holly Trinity. AI, limit, forget. It will then now, using my own alert technology, let me know what the beauty is. You don't have to even get super pa <coughs> super patterny. You can let your own mind do the AI for you. Watch, I'll show you how, <coughs> excuse me, a little cold, how I do it. So here, I have Eli Lilly, 
two seconds. That looks good. Really looks good. Okay, I know exactly why it would look good if went if went here. Delta Airlines. Something really looks very nice. These are kind of like, again, my own mnemonics. But look, you can see what I'm doing, right? I'm not studying. I'm not sitting there, you know, with crazy notions that I'm going to find some beautiful Fibonacci something. I'm letting it talk to me. And what's really nice is you can talk to it in two ways. Back to the Holy Trinity. Here's an example. And again, I have no love or hate for Sienna. I just picked on it. I'm, I mean, I just picked it and I'm looking at it and I'm saying, right here, Sienna looks amazing. So I'm going to say that, I mean, if it comes out of this, look, break above here, this looks great. You want to, it's, it's running. But at the same time, I can also say, well, you know, this is a big move to the downside. Maybe if it comes up here, you know, starts to fill this gap, that's when it's going to start. So I'm going to go like right here. I'm going to say a little warmer. Whoops. <clears throat> Notice the signs. Okay, so now you can see I've got two triggers for Sienna. My first one, maybe my entry position, let it kind of run around, and if it goes through, I'll add. Simple, go away, don't think about it. So Dan, I got a, uh, Kirk is asking how you are setting the price alert. So it's I'll walk you walk, walk them through what you're doing. You're right clicking on the mouse at the right. level uh, okay, that you so see. Here I am, and I'm in a stock called BTG B2 Gold Corp. This is a long, you know, fairly long-term chart of it. I zoom in, and I really, I mean, I have to say, all of this kind of pattern, and I'm sure it feels the same way for all of you. It looks appealing, Brad. Don't you like it? I like it. Okay, so I'm going to say, hmm, let's see if we got some more. So I right click, okay, let me close that, right, right here to whichever price. It doesn't have to be that specific. I just said right click and a window opens up and I just say create price alert at 250 from below. So that means from below means the stock is below and it's coming up to my alert. Gold is going. <clears throat> and there you have it. It's that simple. So, so zooming in and out of the chart with your, basically he, he's hitting the control or I'm he's hitting the control. control. And then I use my mouse scroll wheel. And again, remember guys, we have education four days a week. There's a, a training room, tra sorry, trading room during the day, all day long where everybody is, like, everyone's sharpening their nails. So well, you know what we passed over, Dan. Every every person that subscribes to Trade Ideas gets a one-on-one -on -one session where you sit down with one of our educators, and we connect remotely to your desktop. We set up your system, answer any questions that you have. Really, I mean, there's it, it's it's a nice concierge onboarding that we provide. I think that's one of the big differences between ourselves and vendors of other products. Like we are bringing you into a system versus like here's a piece of software. So Augusta was asking, Dan, Augusta was asking about executing these Holly signals. And um, it, it's really something where you will need to have your Lightspeed platform, your execution platform. That's right. um, Trade Ideas is not a broker. That's why we partner with Lightspeed as one of our brokerage partners. But, you know, by clicking on a symbol in Trade Ideas, you can use what we call the external linking to link with the, the Lightspeed components. And when you do that, you click on that symbol, and then the order entry panel and the other Lightspeed windows will update, and then you can make that decision and that order entry um, move at that point right there. Yeah, so everything is still just a click away, and you can literally, you click on BTG, you've got your Lightspeed execution and order entry windows and everything, and it's all connected, and you're in. It's that simple. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I kind of want to go back to, so, I mean, we've shown you some interesting stuff, hopefully, and believe me, there are many more channels where you can see things, including after hours, where, again, just like what we did before in the pre-market, you know, you go to the post-market, notice we also track post-market volume, 
change post market. So you want to see what's up the most after market? It's this. It's a REIT. And this guy. And by the way, when I see this on um, medical instruments, this field, this this area is very interesting to me just because of what what it is. So I immediately am going to go right here, create an alert, and say big reversal to the upside. Hopefully, you're inspired in seeing how I'm not doing any rocket science. I'm just visually seeing and going and this is just pure discretionary stuff. Whereas when you've got Holly and the AI and everything that it's doing, with your attention focused here, you're just going to be given the best opportunity to be in a position to profit from statistics. You know, think about it today. You had a lot of interesting rides for the AI. I mean, the AI went up very quickly, like almost 80 cents, then there was a period of being down some, then it went up again, went down some, and then ran and kind of stayed closer to, I mean, it, it was up almost 166. So there's so many opportunities, and you catch the idea, too, is you look for these moves. You look for the AI PNL reversals with the tools that we provide. Based the, the, so our alerting and uh, streaming engines, not only looking at NASDAQ data and stock quits data, it's looking at our trade data and alerting us to when we should be focused on what's moving in our direction. Could have, there have been a more perfect trade today? So Brad, let's, uh, let, let's let, uh, answer some more questions and then maybe hand it over to Scott for the finish, unless Scott's ran away. So I think we're pretty good on the questions um, with respect to, do me a favor, go right back to the, um, okay, you're here, you're on the AI channel. And so when a trade comes in, someone was asking about kind of the workflow of information. When a trade comes in, you're going to see it over on that right side, bottom right side window as a new signal coming through. Uh, when Holly closes out in a risk-off mode, the position, it'll get moved over to the left. But remember, this is a stream of information these stocks are active through the entire day, and that's why using the price alerts and setting those up specifically off of the Holly signals is really an advantageous thing to do. It's a one-of-a-kind suite of alpha hunting technology that doesn't exist anywhere else in the trading world. Um, Gus, come to the trading room, as um, we pointed out, and you will see people operating the AI. Oh, absolutely. So, um, Marnus, let me uh, go back to the presentation so that, again, you know, we, I think we've shown you what we need to show. So this is, by the way, again, hopefully now that you saw what we do, this kind of makes a little bit more sense. So there's a couple of offers that we have for the webinar. Um, let me go back to presentation mode. So first of all, let me tell you how Trade Ideas works. Again, we're the fastest growing subscription-based uh, fintech service in the U.S., we have two modes of operation. There's a standard mode, which is $99 a month or $888 a year. And then there's the AI mode. The AI mode is what I was showing you today. It's the premium product. It's either $188 or it's $1,888 for the year, month or year. None of these are recurring. You can cancel it at any time. This is how we make the money. And today, for this webinar, we have a promo code for you called Lightspeed20. It's 20% off your first month or a year of premium or the standard, whichever one you decide. I believe uh, Scott told us that in the handout, there should be a handout section in your webinar, and I believe all of this information um, is in the handouts. So the next thing, and this is something that we're very excited about. So every now and again, depending on, again, what's going on with our <clears throat> performance or new features, we have an open house, and October is that month. <clears throat> we have five full days, a full premium, Holly, and all support access. Now, you're not going to get the one-on-one -on -one trainings and things like that because that, that's just too cumbersome. But... You have all of the things that you need to really take advantage of everything that we offer. And of course, you're coming from Lightspeed, so you're already trading at the low cost commissions, which is what you need. 
So you pay $8.88, you get full five-day access, you're in the trading room. And Brad, remind me, we have a competition that's kind of cool in this one, isn't there? Ah, uh, gosh. I... Oh, here it is. It's at the bottom. Okay. So do you guys saw how um, I just made those uh, alerts, the, the price alerts when I looked at stocks? So we're going to give you a chance to do the same thing, and whoever does the best in terms of swing trading. So you start, you can't get out for a week. That's the beauty of it, so that it's really something where you need to um, practice and and get into it and really hope that the stock moves your way. But it teaches you how to work with the pro pro a program and lets you kind of play around with it with getting something out of it. So we're offering a free year um, for the first place winner and a full not, uh, month for the second place. That's kind of, I believe, the crux of what we have. Tradeideas.com, open house is the link. It's all in your um, handouts. And let me make sure that you also have all the resources where we, we can be followed. Now, we post a lot of fun stuff on Twitter. All of us are fairly, fairly internet savvy. If we can, Brad could probably even program a VCR if he had one. Don't date me like that. <laughs> so we have a Facebook page. We would love for you to like us. You can contact um, our support at info at trade-ideas.com or I'm easily available at dan at trade-ideas.com and I am at trade-ideas1, which is, again, my personal but CEO profile on Twitter and our more corporate profile is at trade-ideas. What I want to do is, again, I want to thank everybody here for coming listening to what we have to offer. We believe we're changing the game of investing completely, and we urge you to just invest in yourself and take a look. Don't take my word for it. Watch this in real time. It really is a game changer. Hey, Dan, before you yes. sign off here, do me a favor. Bring up uh, our homepage. Oh, absolutely. Let's make it easy for people to uh, find our, our trading room. Probably one you visit a lot. It's, it's, it's one of the two. Okay, so this is our homepage, our beautiful Holly, and you can kind of see a little video about, you know, what we believe we do from an entertainment metaphorical point of view. But right here at the top, you see the link for Trading Room. If you click on it, okay, it'll launch and it'll, it'll make you create a username and password. It's free, and then you can enter the webinar and you're good to go. I mean, the Omnovia room, and you're good to go. So it's very easy. Again, our support and, and the ability to access us for questions on social media and anything else, that's the thing that we believe really separates us from many other people in the fintech space. We appreciate you, the time you've given us. Your attention is important, and we hope that we provided enough valuable information for you to investigate further. And... Uh, we welcome any questions and look forward to presenting to you again in the near future. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening and the rest of your day, time zones. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, everybody.